All right, so we have a package here from Urban Carry. I hope this is the inside the waistband holster. I imagine it is. Perfect. In this package, this looks like the part that will actually attach. Oh, wow, that's soft. Oh, that's going to be cool. This is the actual holster. This is Shepard Humphreys with the Jackson Hole Shooting Experience, and today we're going to talk about the new holster from Urban Carry, the Revo. And uh, we're using a Glock here that we've checked to make sure is empty. The way this is constructed, I mean, I'm looking here at the stitching. This is good work. This is really high-quality leather work. The back portion is not leather. It's the kind of stuff that probably absorbs sweat and then makes it go away really quickly. Good material, whatever it is. It's nice and soft against the body. All the rivets here are such that they're not going to be pushing into the, uh, into the body and hurting. This is the inside the waistband version, so the clips are on the outside here. I see that the clips have options where we can adjust how high or low they sit. But what's even better than that, the common problem with inside the waistband holsters has been that you only have one option for angle here. This one has an incredible other op opportunity here. This snap undoes. I can undo this snap, and then I can take off the whole holster. This can be used, the actual holster part, in some of their other holster systems. This particular inside the waistband, I have a choice now of having it directly up, or if I wanted to have an extreme cant, this is the kind that Sonny Bazikas likes, he likes a nice uh, coming over to the side like this, then these extra straps here, these go over the inside part and snap which just gives it extra strength. And I don't even think you need that for the inside the waistband. The pressure of your, your body and the belt would make it work, but that's just an extra layer of security. These clips are really nice, just standard, good, strong metal clips. And uh, I found that it's really comfortable. I've been wearing it right in the middle. So I kind of put this uh, the clip on the one belt loop, so it's not even hooking on the belt. And the other on the other side there, this lets me have it at a pretty good angle coming out to the side. So it is sticking out a bit, but not bad. Not bad at all. And I could even slide this over more and have it more toward the center so that then when I'm wearing a concealed garment for concealment here, it's really not going to be noticeable as I move around. It is in the midsection. If you ever notice it is printing a little bit, just a little bit of a slump of the shoulders leaning forward, and it disappears. So overall, I think it's a great holster. I think the strong points are the ability to change it from the change the angles, and then secondly would be the quality. It is just top-notch quality, and uh, I suggest you try one out. You'll probably end up getting one for each of your carry guns.